So, um, we're going to try and do collision detection. Now, Monsignor Faze mentioned that I couldn't use Sprite to background collision because I'm always colliding with the background. So let's just just show, show you what he means. So here's our Sprite. We will always be colliding with the floor. Yeah? We will always be colliding with the floor. But when he's jumping, we're not. Alright? So when he's jumping, we're not. Hey, Stacy Bates. So, I am going to use a bit of a hybrid model, yeah? Going to use a bit of a hybrid. We are going to use hardware detection. We are. It does mean that every frame will be checking what's around us. I admit that. But, it also means that when we're jumping, we can use the collision detection, the hardware collision detection, far more accurately than if we did maths, yeah? So, and the fact that we don't know when the trees and the uh, kennels are there, because we're not, we're not recording that they're on there. If you remember last time, we randomly pick out an asset. So, well, first thing is, we randomly say, are we going to put an asset on there? Then we randomly say, we pick out, are we doing a two wide or four wide asset? And then once we've done that, we then say, which one are we picking? Yeah. So we're not actually storing what we've chosen. We're just putting them on the screen. So what I was thinking, what I was thinking of doing is mixing the hardware collision. Admittedly, admittedly, I will be checking for collisions while he's running. Yeah. Every frame, I'll be checking for the collision, checking for this collision, checking for the collision. Every frame. But I think we can do it quick enough that it won't matter one jot. Yeah? But the hardware collision detection will come in its own when we are in the air. Yeah? Because it won't be firing when we're in the air because we are not on colliding with any of the background in the air. Yeah? So we're going to do a bit of a mixy match. Mixy match. And, you know, it'll come into its own when we do the, the flying as well, yeah? I still love that. <laughs> Nico with a cape. <laughs> hey, Saucy, welcome. So, like I say, today's, uh, today's thing is we are going to try and work out the collision detection system. Yeah, we're going to try and work it out. Uh, I have a suggestion. Use the materials that Charpad provides. Uh, like that, you can easily differentiate between the characters. Yes, you're sort of st stealing my thunder there, mate. Stealing my thunder. But yes, that is what we're going to do. But first things first, yeah? First things first, let's work out the collision because sprites are a funny thing. No, it's all right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. Now people can start thinking what you're saying, yeah? And then if I don't do it, they can shout at me. Right. So, sprites are funny things, yeah? They are not quite... Oops, let's take that breakpoint out. And if you look, right, so we'll let the sprite and then we'll pause it. There. Right, the sprite is not quite three characters deep. It's three characters long, yeah, but not quite three characters deep. So what I'm what I'm planning is that we work out where the top corner of the sprite the sprite is and then then we check four by three so we're going to take the four four by three 
and because it's a collision we don't need to worry about the internal yeah so we'll go one two three four one two three one two three four and so we don't need to worry about the middle we don't need to worry about the middle yes Could I turn off the hardware collisions of a few characters above the ground? Um, I suppose we could. I suppose we could. I suppose we could, because, yeah, because, let's, let's boost this off, I think it's, is it, is that one or is it that one, that one, no, no, stop saying disc, there we go, there we go, because if you think, of, right, okay, Let's think about this. Let's think about this. We could, I suppose. Uh, we, we could, I suppose, think about. Um, yeah. Because we could. We could look for that line there. We could. I mean, to be honest, we could. Oh, that's a, that's an interesting concept, mate. That is an interesting concept. Yeah. Yeah, because when he's up there, it doesn't matter. When he's down here, yeah, we could do that. We could try and aim for that point there. And then, at that point, at that point there, if he's collided with anything. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hi John here another subscriber stay a while stay forever yes oh dear <laughs> hi John here another Who subscriber <laughs> stay a while no stay sob. forever no sob you've got a gift sub mate Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Doxter, once again. You know I don't expect this, and it is very much appreciated when you do. Thank you very much for the five gift subs. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't. I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know if you was on uh, Mrs. OSK stream. I'm um, on. Was it Thursday? Was it Thursday? Where you broke Mrs. OSK? Oh, Frozen! Welcome! Welcome! You you must lurk, because I've not seen you before. But welcome to my channel. Yeah, Doxter, you, you and Hanny broke Mrs. OSK. She... Uh, she was um, 
she was crying. I had to give her a hug. I had to give her a hug because she was crying. You, you, you did break her. She couldn't figure out what she was doing for a bit. <laughs> yeah, she was. Um, she was. I had to give. I went in to give her a hug. Hey, C64 Mark, welcome. No, don't feel bad, mate. It was tears of joy. It was tears of joy because you was the you was the first person to do the gift subs in, on her channel, and she was like me. We don't, you know, I I don't expect anybody to subscribe to my channel. I don't expect it. It's great that when people do it. And she's the same thing. But when, when you did it twice and Hanny did it once, and yet she had, a fifth, what, 15 gift subs in one day? Or one night? Yeah, it broke her. It broke her. She was crying. But don't feel bad. It was a good, it was a good, a good, th good cry. Right. So, back to what Derek's been mentioning. Back to what Derek's been mentioning. He's, Derek's got a point. So what, what I'm, what I'm thinking is we lift Nico up, we lift Nico up by one or two pixels, yeah, and then what we can do is halfway, halfway down, yeah, we can test to see if he's collided, yeah, because his nose is going to hit a tree, before any, excuse me. A nose is going to hit a tree before anything else. I mean, let's let's fire this up. Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Let's wait. Let's do this one here. Right. So his nose is going to hit the tree well before any other part of his body. Yeah. You, you are too. You are too kind, mate. You are too kind that um, streamers should get something for their work. I, I, you are too kind. I don't expect it, but it's much appreciated. And you are on a personal quest to get me my hundred subs, mate. Because so far, I think I've got fifty-five subscri subscribers, and I think. 45 of them are yours, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I know I've got regular subscribers, and I think I've got, I think I've got about 9 or 10. But you are on a personal quest <laughs> to, to get me 100. <laughs> Which, you know, it's I, I, much, I, I, I very much appreciate what you're doing for me. Very much. Right, so Derek's on about that we... At a... At a at a line, and I think just above, if we just above them, there, right? If we read, if we there read the collision detection, um, if we read the hardware register for the background collision detection on that line, somewhere there, yeah, then we can then check Nico. Yeah, we can then check Nico because it's always going to collide below because of the ground and everything. But if we nudge Nico up, so instead of instead of running across on the brown, that he's sort of running on top of the green, then at least we have more of Nico to do the collision detection. Yeah, but it's a very interesting concept. I never thought I never thought of doing that, but it's worth having a crack at it. It's definitely worth having a crack at it. Just, just so we can, just so we can see it. Hello, welcome. Right, so, so, my plan has changed slightly. Right, so I was going to, I was going to <laughs> animal experiments. <laughs> I was going to test the hardware sprite in here. Yeah. You are very kind, Doctor. Very kind. Right. So I was going to 
check the dis the collision detection in 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 this space here because this is where we are this is where the hood is going to be which is not going to take that much cpu time and the the t the timer for the power up and the health indicator and stuff like that so that's what i was going to do here but what we can do is we can do the collision detection from that point there if we read it there we can do all that gubbins here yeah we can do all that gubbins here because we're not doing anything because the black line is the start of where where we're doing it so let's see if we can get Let's see if we can get the line bang on. Let's see if we can find which is the best line to go with. <laughs> Disclaimer, no Nikos are harmed by slicing in half. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's still there, look. He's still there. He's still at the top of the stairs, look. With Aston. Aston doesn't leave, he's not left his side today. Not left his side today. Since he had the uh, since he had this um, seizure this morning, Aston's been there. Right. So, are we using kick assembly? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So this, right? This is the raster for the top. This is the raster for our scrolling. Yeah. This is the raster. For our top of the scroller and we do our frame thingy in there and our so what we need to do in here is put another raster test in so let's say if that's 202 oh I was trying to remember hang on 202 right 202 minus 8 is 196 let's do that but this time we're going to just do it for one line, right? Because we want to just check it for one line. And I hope people are going to be shouting at me, why don't you use the RQ? Because this is, this, the whole point of this is to teach newbies how to code a game. Yeah? Teach newbies. So, we are going to ink. <laughs> I'm trying to... Just for my No. Oh, Proton's gone live. I'm keeping an eye on my phone just in case Mrs. OSK messages me. Right. So, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to do the hot, do this. D O two one. So that's doing the background, and then we will put it back. So we'll see. See where we are. See where that line is. Right, so that's the line we're looking at. Yeah? Oh, I wasn't that far out as either, was I? I was not that far out. So we need to go up. We need to go up. Probably... Uh, oh, I've run the wrong thing. Never mind. We need to go up. Probably another eight. Let's try that. So, uh, eight, so that's eight, six, isn't it? Right, let's see how that looks. So we're looking for the line. It's the first time you've seen the trees in action. Yeah, we managed to get it working right at the very end of the last, last stream. So it looks like we're crossing over a bad line there, because it's twice as wide. So we'll knock it up one more. What cherry switches am I using? Um, can you tell? When, can you tell? I have no idea. I have no idea, mate. I'd have to take one of the keys off. Right, I am going to make this a constant. I'm going to make this a constant. So, um, so that's Nico floor level. Uh, sprite hardware line 
detect. So we've made it what? 196, 197, so we'll make it 185, sorry. 186, 187. So we'll grab that. Put it in here. Grab that, and then we'll do the same thing here. So we're not messing about with two of them. Right, let's see if we're if we're going over a bad line. Oh, look at that. Stable as houses. Now, is that too high? His nose is definitely going to hit something first, isn't it? So it hits that, hits that, hits that. We're looking for a broken tree. Are we going to get a broken tree? Give me a broken tree. Come on, give me a... There we go. Bro oh, it's not going to do the broken tree. Ooh. We might, we might have to drop that. Now that's on a bad line, isn't it? It's definitely on a bad line. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try that. Is that too low? The broken trees are oak. Okay. Yeah, make the gro broken tree grow a little, yeah. See, that's going to fire on uh, that. See, that's the broken tree. Maybe yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll put something on the top of the tree. Maybe we'll put something on the top of the tree. Right. So let's put that back to where it was. We had it on what? Uh, da, 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 da. We had it on uh, five, didn't we? So there's the broken tree, which will be fine because his nose is going to touch that. It's the stump. It's the stump that's the problem. But what we could do is we could put a little a little bit on top of the stump, I think. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's do a bit of... Uh... Bit of stump uh, fixing. So we... Uh... Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just making sure that because uh, Stace Stace was saying there may be maybe the stumps wrong. Let's have a look. So we want to open the two wide one. Yeah, so we've got two that are below the line. So we'll have to do something. We'll have to do something about these two. Yeah, we'll have to do something about these two. No, 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 mate. I'm, I'm, I like the idea. To be honest, I like the idea. So, we've got, we've got the uh, thing. So, right. So we need, we need here. We need uh, da, 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 sprite. Oh, back. Ground sprite collision collision flags. That will do. That will do. And I can't spell. Oh, come on, John. 
background. Let's do it properly. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to take something and store it in there. Now, it's that something that I want, and I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, da, 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 da. Sprite background. I bet it's that one. 1B. One I bet it's that one. I bet it's that one. Let's just check. Where's the Bible? Where's the Bible? Here we go. Oh no, that's not the one, that's the priority. Right, where's the uh, sprite to sprite? There we go, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> wow, the lag. Have I got lag on? I'm not sure. Right, so we're taking note. We're taking note of the collision between the sprite and the background at that line. At that line, yeah? And the, the upside of that, it clears the register. Yeah, so it clears the register. Are you refreshed? So we should now see if Nico is colliding with the background. So what we'll do is we will find out where that. So we'll do a Shift F6 and we'll let it break, and then we'll find out where where the bite is. There we go. So we'll let it broke. So let's uh, do a quick bite dump. Find that. So 089F, another number, 089F. So we can look for that one. So let's get into the right view. O eight nine F. There, there we go. There we go. That's the number. Yeah, I've heard Twitch has been causing a few issues recently because I was on uh, I was on Phaser stream and his his sound kept coming out, cutting out. Right, so here we go. We're looking at that bite in the top corner. So we're going to see what hits and what doesn't. So here we go. So it's always six. Not. Not. So is that doing it right? Now I'm reading it at that point. I'm reading at that point. Now that yellow is the background. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's the background line. I wonder if it's check it's the background line. Cuz I was expecting this to be zeros. Right. Let's get rid of um Let's get rid of this and that. All right, let's try it again.
What is it? O eight to nine F. There we go. Right, go. So hopefully this is going to be only reading. Oh, John, you're a plank. Ah, plank. I need to clear it. I need to clear it here. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, I need to clear it there. Right, let's try that again. Right, 089F, which is there. Get rid of that. Right, here we go. So we should only get values when we cross a tree. There we go. Oh, look at this. Nice. And it's only doing it when it crosses a tree. So there we go. There's another tree. There's another tree. And another one. So that means we're only going to check when it hits something. Right, it's going to... Yeah. Oh, that works a treat. That works a treat. That does work a treat. Hey Nicomo, welcome. Sorry, I didn't see you earlier. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. So, um let's see. So we'll do we'll do that at the bottom, yeah? So um So we'll do that here. So we'll change we'll change the sprite colour. So um do that. And da -da 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 -da. So we load that and it with one, two, three, four, five. That should be four and four, isn't it? Yeah. Now red. Oh, we'll just compare it with six. Branch is not equal to. Oops. This is just temporary code, we're not leaving that in. And Nico is uh, zero one two. <laughs> I 
Minter coding. No, I'm, I'm being clever. We're, we're, we're highlighting whether it's detected or not. Because you can't see it very well. And I am looking for my all time favourite. That one. 2C. There we go. Right. So we should be able to see when Nico's. Uh, when Nico's hitting a tree because his, his colour should change. Oh, and it's the wrong one. And it's the wrong one. And uh, da, 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 plus one. Oh. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just changing. Which, which one am I supposed to be changing? Oh, what's his... Where's the setup? Where's the setup? Right. Grey, black, red. Oh, it's the multicolour mode. Okay. It's the multicolour mode. Let's go back. White is the multicolour. The multicolour. Alright, so we'll just do that then. So here we go. Nice. Like it. Nice. There we go. So now we're using the hardware we're using the hardware collision flags at the at the at a specific line. Um, let me see if I let's see let's put the line back in so we can show it. Right. Let's put the line back in, which is there and there, and we'll put that above that. Right, so we're, we, we've got a, there we go. So this, this, this yellow line is our sprite detection line. This is the line where we're detecting whether the sprite has collided with the background. Right, let's land on a tree. Yep, yeah, it's working as you come down and going up. So down it goes, he goes red, up he goes red. Nice. So the only problem is, is the, the little stumps. So we're, we're reading the hardware detection, the sprite to background hardware detection register at the the yellow line. That's where we're reading it, yeah? We're not bothered after that, what we want. We're not bothered, yeah? So, where every time Nico goes red, that's where we're going to read around Nico, yeah? We're going to read around Nico. And also, I think we only need to read around Nico, um, we don't need to read it on every frame because if you think about it, we're, 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 we're smooth scrolling, right? On, and so on the eighth frame, that's when we move the frame. So on the eighth frame, we'd have to re reacquire what's around it, yeah? So we don't need to do it on every frame. We only need to do it on every eighth frame when we when we move the screen, essentially, we move the screen, then see what's there. That sounds about right, doesn't it? So, the hardware detection flags on. We wait until we've shifted, we wait until, 
Do we wait to before we shift the screen or after? Um, I haven't decided yet, mate, but I have got a sneaky suspicion that the cookies and the bones and everything are going to be sprites. I think. Because then we can use the sprite to sprite collisions to detect if we've collided with one, yeah? Oh yeah, we, yeah, it's, we'll, we'll, um, we'll end it, we'll, we'll end off the flags anyway, because it's, it's going to be six, it's going to be six, because that, they're the two, they're the two main Nico sprites, uh, one and two. We've got zero with the cape, yeah, so when he jumps, zero's the cape, because that's the topmost sprite, yeah. But that's working a treat. That is working a treat. So if we run it in C64 debugger, I'm going to try and explain what I want to do. So it's going to break, here we go, and we'll send it on. So as you can see here, there's there is um, ease. We'll um, we'll mask out. We'll mask out the um, the Nico sprite. Yeah, we'll only detect. We'll only detect the. Um, because the right. What I was not Mrs. Always came. What I was thinking for the biscuits and all that was the the biscuits and the bo uh, the bones would be not a double layered sprite. There will be a high res sprite. So as soon as they collide with Nico, their sprites will become one. Yeah. So we know that that sprite is collided with Nico. You know, Nico's colliding with himself. Nico's colliding with himself anyway, because there's two sprites overlapping. So we have to mask those two sprites off, and that's how I was going to do it. But let's let's. Uh... So Nico is going to have to be. Let's see if we can pause this at the right point. Right. So Nico. We are going to have, because Nico goes right to the very edge, which is good, because that means we can check ahead. We can check ahead, because as soon as he collides, as soon as he collides, we're going to have to work out where, which column it is. So I was thinking of taking four at the top, the four at the bottom, and the two sent into the two middles. So that's a total of ten characters we're going to have to take note of, and then check those characters to see if it's a if they're a bad character or a good character. No, we don't need to know exactly what he's hit. The only, the only thing that I would need to know if the exactly what he's hit was if I was going to do the cookies and bones as characters, which I'm still erring towards. I'm still erring towards 
But the problem is, because we've made the detection line here, where, where, there, where my cross is, the cookie would, the cookies would have to be too high. We'd have to be two characters high to be able to say we've, we've hit it, or bone would be two characters high. Which is not a problem. Which is not a problem because we've got we've got the code to do to insert two character uh, high uh, two character wide assets. So it's just a case of just boosting it. It's just a case of just boosting it. Well, that that is that is the that is the other option. That is the other option, is make make all the good things um, sprites, which is what I I think um, Saucy was on about as well. Which is not a problem because we can still we can still keep track of the sprites and make them look like the. They're going as fast as the uh, they're going as fast as the background. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. So what we're going to do is we're on this line here, on this line where it's yellow. So where that yellow line is, um, this yellow line here, that means anything that Nico hits is bad, right? Is bad. So. The, the question we now have to answer is, do we check the surroundings of Nico? Because I suppose we're going to have to, because if, if you land too soon, his back end's going to clip a tree. So we've got to check all the way around him. We've got to check all the way around him. Yes, we're going to have to check all the way around him. I think that's right, isn't it? We're going to have to check all the way around him. So I'm just trying to think. Is it better to scan for... Because the sprite's three characters, yeah? So if the, if the sprite is bang on a character boundary, then fine. Three characters is enough, yeah? But if he's forward, yeah? So we're going to be looking back... That means his nose is going to be in the fourth character. So I think we need to test four, three, four, three. Yeah? So let's do that. So let's get some storage space. So, uh, let's 12 characters, that should be enough. So, um, do, 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 game Nico. Right, let's get this underway. That's a fair point. Does it? That is a fair point. Am I overthinking it again? That is a fair point. Because any anything that's any any background that's hit Nico at the 
before the yellow line is always going to be a bad thing. I don't need to check what bad thing because we know it's a bad thing. No, we don't need to do that. Dude, yeah, you are right. You are right. That that deserves some points because I was overthinking it. I was overthinking it. So we've we've got Yeah, the only constraint is good objects need to be sprites, which is which is fine. We can do that. Because all we all we're going to do is we're going to have a power up that allows Nico to fly. We're we're going to have a power up that allow which then puts the cone on Nico's head, which makes him invincible to anything. And we've got biscuits and bones to regenerate his health. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's a good point. We've already got, well, that's it. That's today's stream done. We've done the collision. Well, thank you very much for joining. <laughs> I... Uh, I've been working I've been working on this all weekend, right? I've been working on this and I had a way of doing it and you've just completely thrown all that away and come up with a simple solution that makes <laughs> Yeah, beer time. Right, okay, let's right, let's carry on. Let's carry on. No, neither of us drink. No, I'm only drinking this brown stuff. <laughs> John's getting the order in. We've got to. We got to make. We got to. Um, one day we got. We have got to get together, us guys, the locals. It's about time. We've spent long enough online. And Stacey, you're not that far away from me. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be gnawing neck of the woods anyway. Uh, August. August, 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 August. Uh, August, July, August, 17th. Going to be in the, your neck of the woods because I've got to take my dad to the, the hospital. Ah uh, no! Unless we fly to Norway, mate. I'm, you know. But yeah, I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to Glenfield. Glenfield Hospital, on the seventeenth. Take me dad for his post-op check. To make sure he's doing all right. So I'll be in your neck of the woods, Stacy. Okay. Um. But definitely, we ought to get to and take a photo, you know, <laughs> the crowd. Uh, uh, Doctor, we'll put you on. We'll put you on Discord so you can be. You can have your face on Discord. We'll take the photo. All right, mate. Uh, right. So that was too easy. That was too easy. Right. Okay. Let's um, let's think. Let's think. So, uh, what can we do now? So we've got a way of detecting whether Nico has hit something. So um, I'm just wondering when I can use the CPU time in between, not in between there, but here in between, what is it? 185 and 202, I can, I can use that time there. I can use that time there. So, so LDA. That. Near yeah, Aston's gone downstairs.
Is there? Is there a C64 convention in Walsall? Dude, when it um, when it come when you find out more details, let me know, yeah? Let me know. Cuz that's what 20 minutes for me. Walsall, 20 minutes. Let me know, yeah? It'd be cool to get to meet up the UK lads. Right. So I am going. We need to. We need to um, mask off the good ass. The good sprites. Yeah. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. That'll be cool, yeah. Right, so we need to mask off. If we're going to use the other sprites as the good sprites, we need to mask off that Nico's collided with them, yeah? For the death. For, not for the death, yeah? Yeah, give me a heads up as well, yeah? Right, so then we can compare. Oh, we don't need to, because then we can do branch if branch if not equal to zero. So if it is branch if equal to zero to Nico 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 Uh if it's equal to zero, Nico. Um, did not hit. So let's do this. So if Nico did hit, then we LDA hash uh, constants. Have I got it in here or have I got it somewhere else? But it's in here. There we go. There we go. So dazed. Store it in storage dot and we are storing it in oh that could be in here as well. That could be in here. Where are we? There we go. Store it in there. What are you guys talking about now? Spaghetti code. No, we're not doing spaghetti code. Right, so I've changed I've changed the um, the game flow, yeah? I've changed the game flow. So we are talking um, five. I ought to I ought to I ought to do these. Hang on, let's um, let's comment these. Let's comment these. So this is that. This is that. This is that. That. Oops. That <laughs> 
Right, what I'm doing here is a throwback for Monsignor Morris's fantastic book, Volume 1. Just in case you haven't got it, and it's using a state machine. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Please welcome our new follower. Please welcome our new follower. Which is that? Duke of Germany. Please welcome. Say hello if you're on. Right. So this is, if you remember the last stream I said I'd done some refactoring, we've, I've put in a state machine. Yeah. So now as the program loops, it goes to these different states. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a temporary place here, which is, we'll call it return to sender. And we'll just get it to do an RTS. So we're going to put it on dazed there. Hello, welcome. Oh, have I put dude? Oh, I am sorry. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I fixed it for you. <laughs> You're also a dude. <laughs> <laughs> plank, <laughs> yeah, plank, another plank. I've got to figure out. I've I've got to figure out. I've got to figure out how to get it to do the automatically do the follows. I've got it to do it all the. I've got the bot to do all the others, but not the follows. Well, never mind. Right. So, what's going to happen now is when we run this, when we run this, the game should stop when Nico collides. Yeah. So when Nico collides with something, the game should stop. There we go. Right, so now we've moved on to the next state. <laughs> John just asked Sheldon. <laughs> pronouns. Oh, pronouns, yeah. We're not going into that. <laughs> but as you can see now... Because I've told I've told the game that we're now in another state, and if you want to know anything about state machines, right, the man to go to is the legend that's currently on stream. Yeah, the man to go to is currently the legend on stream, and he's got this book, right, this book first edition he talks about how to do state machines in this first edition yeah how to make the game work in different states within the same game loop if you want to learn how to do state machines use the De the man's book Derek is on stream right now if you've not heard of him he's on stream say hello Derek use his first book because he does he does go into how a state machine works. And this is what we're going to use for Nico Run. We are using a state machine to, to determine which part of the game we're running in. Yeah. So this is volume one. And he goes into all of it and stuff like that. So make sure you grab it. Grab the book. In all good bookshop stores and Amazon. 
You're getting old now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the happy owner of both books as well. And I've got a signed one as well. So I, I've got three books. I've got a signed one. Signed one that I have wrapped up. So it will, it will, never, it will never go yellow. Got three books. So, as you can see now, this would then run into the Nico Dazed code yeah the nico days code which means that he will he will lose a life yeah will reset the level yeah and um basically reset all the health part of it and everything when when he's dazed and we've run out of lives that's when we move it on to that's how many books are there now there's two there's two, mate. There's two volumes. The other one, uh, the other one, is this one. Volume two, which is, which is kick assembler based, which is kick assembler based. Yeah, but he he goes into how to do multi simple multiplexing, um, how to use sprite pad and char pad. I hope Derek doesn't mind me showing the chapter list for the book. But yeah, he, and, and also, you know, game flow, he, he tweaks the game flow. HUD, we're going to be doing a HUD and all that jazz, all right? So I hope he doesn't mind me showing off the um, chapter list of his books. Right, so... So, um, right, so let's just get this. So we've got him to, we've got the game to pause. So the game is still running. It's just that we're RTSing, we're not doing anything. So we've got it to pause when he's, um... okay, that's all right, mate. Um, I, 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 I push your books as much as I can because I think the, they are gr great reference material if you want to, make a game and I use aspects of the book yeah like the the game flow the the, the hood um, which I used in hunchback that's where I got that idea from um, and we're gonna do it in here as well so we're gonna do a hood here as well and also the fact that you did multiplexing simple multiplexing which which I may employ in this game I may employ in this game because I want to add some other things to it as well if we've got time right so we now know the game flow kicks in so what I want to do is is when it when we get into the game flow so um, let's create another so let's create another one game 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 So this is going to be the game dazed um, aspect of it. So um, we are going to, we need to knock off a life. Now, have I got lives, memory lives already? No. <laughs> feature creep. <laughs> who's, fe who's creeping, who's feature creeping? Me. <laughs> Well, it was feature creep for his uh, um, Neptune Lander. But what an excellent game that was. What an excellent game that was. And that was based off your book as well. There's, uh, I think, quite a bit of it's still based off the book. And a, f a bit of it was got my code in it as well that he rewrote. He'll never admit. <laughs> He'll never... He'll never admit that it was my idea. <laughs> Multiply and eco. Ooh. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Right, so, Nico lives. Um, Nico health. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do it as a word. Let's do it as a word. Uh, what else? What else do we need? Um, health. Oh, oh no, we've got we've got the power up timer. Yeah, we've got the power up timer there. Um, what else? Score a nice score. What else? What else? Right. We'll go with that for the moment. So in our... So we've got an initialized game. And then we've got initialize gameplay. Now the gameplay is where we um, set, set initially set up, yeah. So LDA hash five store it in storage dot Nico lives. There we go. And health, health, health. How are we gonna do that? Um, if we do one twenty eight, now health I've made into a fraction as well. Yes, that's right. Um, Yeah, that'll do. So health will be 128. So we're talking 128. So what's a oh, it's a good one. That's 16 characters. All right, Stacy. We'll see you later. Yeah. Give you the half a hug from us. Uh we're at 128. Yeah, see you Wednesday. Right. I should know this really. 16, I thought it was. 16 characters. That's not, that's not going to be good enough. So we'll have to divide that by two to make it work. Okay, right. So the health. Um... So I'm going to, we're going to, hello, hello, what's going on, Mrs. OSK just rang me and then hung up straight away. <laughs> I think she forgot I was streaming. <laughs> I think she's forgot our <laughs> booty call. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Uh, yeah, that would have been. <laughs> that would have been. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think she's. I think she forgot I was streaming. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, hello. There she is. Say hello from the coast. <laughs> I 
Are the boys in bed? Are the boys in bed? No? Right. So, um, they're in bed. Okay. I've, <laughs> I've just said... Oh, Mrs. Always Case just rang me and immediately hung up. <laughs> oh, well. Right. So, I forgot what I was doing now. Um, oh, yeah. You're going now, too? Are you, oh, you off to bed as well? Have <laughs> the boys worn you out? <laughs> oh dear, I bet the boys have worn her out. <laughs> You're not too old. They're just too young for you. That's what it is. Too young. Well, have, have pleasant, have pleasant dreams, all right? And I'll talk to you tomorrow, yeah? Say night to Mrs. OSK. Right. She will be back streaming uh, Thursday, I think. That's when she's back, I think. So, Octems, welcome. Night, Mrs. OSK. Doxter, good man. Good man. Is there a Kindle edition? I didn't know you did Kindle versions, mate. Good man. Right. Getting distracted. Getting distracted. Right. So, we've got Nico colliding. We've got him stopping. So, when he's dazed. Right. So, um, first thing we're going to do. We're going to decrease his life. No problem, Duke of Germany. We will see you next time. We will see you next time. Right, so we de we'd, we're going to decrease his life. Then we're going to um, branch, if not equal to zero, to... Um, He still lives. But if we've decreased it and he's now zero, he's at zero uh, lives, um, we need to change the state. And the state is dead. Claim, game flow state and then we turn back out so we turn back out so it goes back to where we came from so that would then go to the the different states now if he still lives if he still lives then right we need a constant we need some game constants okay so I, I was just thinking so uh, default default health equals 128 So let's go back and say right load hash uh, game constants dot default health store it in storage dot 
Nico's health. Nico's health. There. Uh, load zero. Store it in that plus one. That's something I need to do up, up further up, isn't it? Where did we do that? There. That's what we need to do there as well. He's always going to have five lives. He's always going to have five lives, no matter what difficulty we... If we do difficulty... Is there any animation when Nico's dazed? Uh, there isn't at the moment. There isn't at the moment... But I was thinking of doing, using, using, hang on, let's load it up. I was thinking of using, um, this here, this here. Where he's, uh, he's bobbing. So he, he hits the floor and he's, he's going to be bobbing, yeah? Bobbing up and down. Because what I want to do is when it, when, um, when it's, when Nico's, when you've dazed, been dazed, yeah? I want to, um, what I want to do is, um, in being down, yeah? Um, and then reset the health, yeah, and because, because we're going to say that when he, when he wears the cone, he's going to be invincible, yeah, we could set the power up, invincible, we could turn it on, which will then put him into invincibility mode, and then when it starts up again, yeah, the, um, he can run through trees, we can get the player to run through trees until they get themselves sorted out, yeah? But it's it's all about um, how, how we are, how we're going to do it, yeah? Yeah? So, so he hits the tree, he immediately falls to the ground, yeah? And we just have it um, where he's, um, it's like he's breathing, yeah? It's like he's breathing. Yeah, exactly. So, if, if we, we always said that if he has his cone on, he was going to be invincible. Yeah, it's one of the power-ups that was going to be given. But we haven't coded that power-up yet. But we can code that power-up, yeah? But it was one of the, the power-ups that we was talking about. So, he'd have flight, power of flight... And then the power of invincibility. But if he hits a tree, we can turn on the invincibility uh, power up and allow the, the, the user to regain their composure, get their jump cycle back in, and then carry on. So when it does run, when the power up does run out, we're away we go. All right? So we have some sort of animation. So um, it's just a case of. Um, how do we, you know, when he's dazed, do we allow the user to press a key to continue? Or do we have a timer that, so when he's dazed, when the timer runs out, then he sparks back up? Me personally, me personally, I think it should be um, a key to continue. Yeah, a key, you press a key when you're ready to carry on, yeah? Me personally, I don't know what you guys think, but I think that that's how it it should be. Yeah. So um, we uh, right. So we decrease his lives. Put it in end mode. So we might need another. We might need another state. We might need another state. Oh, we've got this called game paused. I suppose. I suppose we could use the game paused. Because the game pause is just to pause the game. It, it doesn't do anything more than just pause the game. 
So we could use the game paused. Yeah, we could do that. We can do that. So we've reset his health. Um, he's lost a life. Um, yeah, I think the pause would work. And if we make it a different key as well, so not the space bar, make it a completely different key that they've got to hit to restart the game, I think we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's do that. So we'll put it into game pause mode. So LDA, uh, game, Game flow run paused. Um, remember, you can't make the game difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, give a phase a phase customized game version where it's mega hard, mega hard. A code to cheat mode. <laughs> yeah, left, up, right, right, left, right, left. There we go. I've just thought paused is gonna paused is gonna be a problem because we want it to go into we want it to go into um, but then but then we ah right okay 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 I I've just talked myself out of it hang on where is it power ups here we go. Invincibility. Well, that should be right. Yes, it is. Invincibility. Right. So we can set. We can actually set that up here. Yeah, you didn't do it, did you? We can set that up here. Yes, you are right. Oh. No, yeah, no, no. He's, it's, it's in the right place. Because he's hit, he's hit the tree. He still has lives. Yeah, he still has lives. So then what we're saying is we, 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 we reduce the number of lives, reset the health, and then we put the game into pause mode. Yeah, But we're also going to activate the invincibility. Yeah, So I need to make sure... I need to make sure I do the same thing as I did with the flight. Right, which is this here. Which is this. Right, so we'll just copy this. We'll just copy this. And we'll put it into, put it underneath there. But this time we are activating invincibility. So we're storing it in the power up. Then we're loading the timer. So we're loading the timer. Now the timer is one. So we could make the invincibility timer shorter than the not the traditional power up. But I'll leave it as one so we can see we can see how it works and then um, we need to we'll need to code up the power up. We'll need to code up the power up. So um and to be honest, to be honest, we're going to have to do a bit more than that. We're going to have to do a bit more than that. 
Uh, where am I going to put that? Um, where am I going to put uh, Do I really want to create another library? No. I don't. So we'll put it in game, Nico. We'll put it in game, Nico. So we'll create another, another one called Activate Flight Power Up. And we're going to basically put. Oops, no. We're not going to do that. We are going into here. I think it's into it. Yeah, there. So we are going to gr grab that. Oh no. Uh, was it in. It was up, up here, wasn't it? Compare it with flight mode. Oh no, it's in controls. That was it. Here we go. Grab that. Put it into there. RTS. And then we will go grab that, put it in the game controls, and we will say uh, JSR. Uh, game Nico dot that and that can go and then we'll do the same is it game Nico no it's just Nico right back grab that put that in here So, and then we grab that, and it's going to be invincibility. So, let's do that one. Grab that. Activate invincibility. Right, that should do it. So, um, and 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 just for completeness, we'll do that. But when we do optimization, we might get rid of that RTS. So let's just make sure game dazed reduces the number of lives. Branch if not equal to zero, that means he still lives. Deep re re, re do his health. Put the game put the game into pause state activate invincibility come out so the next time it goes through will go through the pause will go through the pause right so let's grab that and put it in there so let's do the pause let's do the pause so game controls we need we need this we need that right so check for unpause so we'll scan the keyboard matrix right um, I need to find out what key we're going to be using let's load our keyboard tester if I remember where it is that one wait for the uh, extension to load up yeah F6 Right, what key should we use to unpause and to pause? P? Is that obvious enough? P for pause? P? Oh, am I you oh Am I using that already? No, I'm using I and O, aren't I? So P for pause, yeah? 
Right, so that's going to be, let's see, that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Row 5. It's got to be row 5 and it's bit... Two, um, one. Row five, bit one. So I'll put that away. So this is what we're going to need to do. Grab that. So we are row five, bit one. And if it's not that, oh, if it's equal, if it's equal, so if it's equal to zero, that means we haven't pressed anything means no resume so we're just going to RTS it's going to go around if it is then we're going to load the game resumption which is that And then RTS. That, sh oh, that's going to complain. There we go. Right, um, 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 so that should then put it into pause. But we want Nico to animate. We want Nico to animate. Or do we? When he's in paused mode. No, we don't, do we? We just want him to stop dead, don't we? We just want him to stop dead. I mean, we can do that. We can do that. I mean, that's 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 not a that's not a we we can get him to lie down. I'm just thinking whether we should get him to breathe when he's lying down. Yeah. Let's let's get him breathing when he's lying down. Now the problem is the animation is in the is in the game loop. Is in here. Alright, I think. Let me just try and find him. Let's find the animation. It's there. <laughs> Stacy loves work. <laughs> I mean, we'll sit, we'll see. But I think we can get away with the lying down one. I've just got to find where I do the update. Screen left. There we go. A animate Nico. Here we go. JSR am Animate Nico. So that's what we want to do. In um, paused. In pause. Where have I put the pause? Have I put the pause in the wrong place? I think I've put the pause in the wrong place. Or have I not done the pause yet? I've done the pause. Have I put it in the wrong place? Oh, where have I put that? Ah! Right, okay, that's checking for pause key, isn't it? 
I haven't written the pause yet. <laughs> shouldn't shouldn't it be pause? Okay, okay, let's do that. Pause key. Is that better? There we go. That's better. Right, okay. Hey up. Right. So I've written the control for the pause key. What well, we haven't written the logic for the pause key. Right, here we go. Game pause. Paused. There we go, paused. Let's keep the theme going. Right. Um, so we want to JSR Nico animate Nico. So that's still animating Nico. Um, but the problem is when he's running, he'll be still animating. So we'll have to do some. We'll have to do some jiggo, jiggery pokery on that. Yeah. We'll have to do some jiggery poking on that. I I have an idea. I have an idea. But we'll do some we'll do some jiggery pokery on that. Then we're gonna do JSR controls dot check for pause key. Now I'm just wondering whether Do I set the flow in there? No, let's do this. So, set the carry if the pause key's been done. Right, okay. That'll do. That'll do. A bit of myriad in there. Let's get some myriad coding in there. Right. So that means that branch of carry clear. So, if the pause key hasn't been pressed, that means the carry's clear, so we're still paused. If the carry's set, then we can do this, all right? And then just return out. That will activate the game. So, um, this is where this is where I was I was having having issues um, I think I think we need to do a test in here because we're gonna have Nico dropping down yeah and I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that in a minute. I'll worry about that in a minute. Right, game pause. Let's stick that into the game flow table. There. Right, so. Um, Let's see. Um, right. 
Right, so uh, when he's when he's dazed, we want Nico to be on. We need Nico to be lying down. So that's going to. So we're going to need to set his base point. Yeah. So we need to set his base point, and I think that's that one there. Thirty-two. I think that's the base point. to do the animation so let's just check that that's that I'm right let's go up to the top where we set him up right to, to, to set up sprites here we go yeah so that's his base point so um, game constants where's constants have I got them all set up I can't remember if I've got them all set up. Uh, yes. Normal Nico lying down. We will do that. We will do that. So in the game logic, we'll get him lying down. We'll see if it, see if he does it. Right. So um, we'll set it here. animation base so when we do the animating when we do the animating he should be lying down panting okay let's try this shall we so um, got dazed we set we let's just check that we set the days yes we do <laughs> right, so let's see. Let's see if our let's see if this works. Yeah. So as soon as it hits somebody, he sh as soon as he hits a tree, it should go into days mode. And he's not. Why is he not? Have I have I got my thingy? It should be doing it. Let's see what's happening. Take that off. Yeah, um, I'm just just having a look now. Um, I mean, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, this is the keyboard. Right, this is the keyboard. Okay, we'll let it do the keyboard. And we're testing O2. All right, okay. Okay. It certainly Well, it's going through the game loop, right? It's going through the game loop, right? But for some reason... I need to check. So, playing the game. Yeah. 
Here we go. Game loop. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Right, okay. Maybe we need to... We need to get it, put a raster in there. There we go. We need to do this. Because I think it's just going round and round and round so fast that it's not doing anything. Can't see it. So here, so we wait until the bottom of the screen and then it does the animation and then it checks. Let's see if it does it. But the game flow is to allow us to... Oh, and it stopped again. You alright, buddy? You alright, buddy? Hey, you alright? Where are you going? Don't get yourself stuck, mate. Hey, you alright? We've been watching you. Been watching you. They want Nico cam down there. Come here. Watch it. <laughs> there you go. Come back. Come back a bit. Come back a bit. There you go. Let's lift it up so you can see you. There you go. Okay. You're not happy bunny at the moment, are you? And you're wobbly on your back end, aren't you? You're right. Are you alright? Hmm? You're a bit wobbly on the back end, mate, aren't you? You alright? Alright, mate. Let me guess. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go wee wee's? Are you, want to, are you telling me you want to go wee wee's? Alright. Alright guys, I will I will be back in a second. That, that, that's him telling me he wants to go, he's just staring at me. So I'll be back in a I'll be back in a couple of minutes, alright? I won't be long. I'll put the waiting vid on, alright? Oh. Sorry. I did a phase! <laughs> <laughs> yeah the stream I, I've had to take Nico out so I'll put it on the timer countdown but I've just done a phase I forgot to turn the mic on <laughs> I was just saying what on earth are you guys talking about oh I mean you've put yeah Doxton Nico does look sad he's he's very very depressed um uh, let's see. Oh, really? I'm not putting a pool in this house. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. <laughs> you went to change for a new bikini. <laughs> <coughs> Say hello to our new follower. New followers, say hello. Let me have a look. Who was it? Oh, I'm going to get that completely wrong. Aren't I? Uh, there's, I'm going to destroy that name. Stoltheg. Stoltheg? Stoltheg? 85? I am sorry if I've destroyed your name. I truly apologise. But say hello. 
Right, so we've got a slight issue that we seem to be going, let me press P, does it continue? No, no, hang on, Do I, if I press P does it continue? Yes, and then we bomb out, right. So, what, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Think, John, think. Um, so, we've not done... Yeah, I, I don't know why that channel's a recommended channel. I have no idea why. Um, stack problem. Yeah, I'm about to find out. I'm just going to run it in C64 debugger to find out what's going on. It shouldn't be. It should, it should be running okay. It's... But let's see. Let's see if the stack goes. Let's turn that off. Let's see. F4, F2, F4. That's normal. No, we're all right, but for some reason, I mean, it's going, don't get me wrong, it's going through it, because if I press F10, it's going through it, look, so, <laughs> there's a blank in there, you wait and see, Okay, let me, let's uh, F11 that. Right, let's slow it down. Now, in fact, F10. Let's put a break point there. Is this Mrs. OSK? No. She should be asleep, you know. Right, we've put a break point in, so, uh, so when I press P, Oh, right. Okay, so I press P and it's done it. So if I press F10, that should come out, do that, then it should now go into the game loop. And here it is. It's 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 in the game loop. Oh. Oh. Because we've not, we haven't coded invincibility yet, have we? We haven't coded invincibility yet, so it's constantly hitting the tree. And a boomer. And a boomer. Out of lives. Yeah, I ain't coded that. I ain't coded that. I ain't coded the out of lives. And we haven't coded the invincibility. I really need to, I really need to get the uh, animation going. That's what I'm trying to find I'm trying to do is get the animation going. Nico's animation when when he's hit. Because he should be lying down. Right, boom. Right. So he should be lying down, but he's not animating. He is not animating. Right. So this should be his animation routine. So we load it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This could be the plank moment. This could be the plank moment. Where's the animation? Right, animate Nico. So, how are we? What are we using for the? Uh, ah. Have you figured out what's wrong? Here's the plank moment.
We are not ticking over the frame counter. <laughs> dear. Oh dear. Plank. Plank. Right, so. There we go. There we go. God, that's a big movement, isn't it? That's a big movement. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> yes, you did know you did know it. You did know it. I think that's alright, isn't it? That's alright. <laughs> we should get it to stop and pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's barking against the tree, yeah. So, right. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Well, at least now the pause is working. Right, so let's let's do this again and see if the pause works properly yeah oh have i coded it have i coded it no i haven't i haven't coded it have i so we need to Can we have an extension? <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, right, we need to um, we need to test for the pause button, so that we'll do that here. Yeah? In fact, I can go there. And that can go there. Right, so this is to this is testing for the pause. So we just need to change the f the the uh, days. Where are we? Here we go. Pause. Just need to change the state. And that's logic. Right. That's the pause button. Right. So hopefully now we should be able to press P and it'll pause. All right, here we go. P. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Press P again. Oh. Why did that do that? Why did that do that? Um, troll. We're in pause mode. So let pause. Why did that do that? Right, let's do that again. Right, so it's going to. There we go. So that's got. A, I've got a break point in there. So F11. So I'm going to press P. Oh. Let's do that again. It's that's hit a tree. Load. Reload. There 
we go. Let's get rid of that. F11. Press P. Right. So we're in that state. So we're in that state. So if I press P again. Ooh. Why is that doing that? Right. Let's put a break point in there. Let's find out what's going on. So. That's what we need to check for. Do you bounce on the pit? You think it's because I'm not pressing it quick enough. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. Get rid of that break point. Pete. Oh, come on, Pete. Oh, hit the, side, hit the tree. F11. P. Oh, it's gone straight into it. That went straight into it. That now it's gone and said it. Oh, it's it's gone and said it's hit something. That's that's gone and said it's hit something. Right, P. Right, P again. Yeah, it's gonna said it's hit something because that is now him. That's dead. That's dead mode. Um, F six again. Let's do that again. That, that is saying it's, ooh, 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 ooh. Right, so we need, we need, we need to read the collision register, I think. We need to read read the collision register. This so when we go back into it, we'll really we'll read the collision register so it's blank because it may be that it's remembering something. Because when we dip, dip down, yeah, it could be that it's set. So let's try it again. Right. That's better, but we have got a bit of a debounce issue. We definitely have a bit of a debounce issue. Why is that? Why? Ah, that's better. How are we going to stop the debounce? Uh, good question. Um, How are we going to stop the debounce? Yeah. Means we need to, um,
Oi! Nico! Oi! Nico! Pack it in. You're not supposed to do that. You know you're not supposed to do that. Here's a little... Night Derek. Thanks for joining us by the way. He's a right little doing that. Rubbing his face on the floor. He's trying to get to the stitches. Is he pestering Aston now? We'll leave Nico cam up just to make sure he's not going to do it anymore. Right, debounce. How are we going to do this? So, um, basically, we need. I think we need to. We probably need to. Um, do we need to save the state of the keyboard matrix and then test it? If the keyboard matrix before. But I can't. Can I do that? Oh, is he is he doing it again? Nico, leave him alone. Leave Aston alone. Leave him alone. What's up, mate? You're getting some of your own back now. <laughs> God knows what's going on. <laughs> Leave him alone. Oh, he's following him downstairs now. So does that does that mean I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take a copy of the keyboard matrix to compare it that we've got the same if it's the same on that say row five if it's the same bit pattern we do not allow it yeah is that what we're saying That, it's going to have to be that, isn't it? But we'll just do it on row 5, because that's the only one we want to... That's the only key that we want to do it. Right, so let's get the storage out. You better leave them alone, mate. Leave Aston alone, mate. Poor Aston. Lying there, having a snooze, and then Nico gets in his face. Oh, he's doing it again, look. What is up with you? What is up with you? Hey? Yeah, I think he's probably trying to get him to lick his eye or something. <laughs> Nico, <laughs> oh, is he doing it again? He's on one, isn't he? He's on one. Nico, 
Nico, leave them alone. Come here. Then if you don't want you don't want sanctuary, if you don't want sanctuary, go away then. You behave yourself. Just because you've got a cone on doesn't mean you have to aggravate him. Yeah. Yeah, dear. Nice. I've had a, I've had a look at his, I've had a look at his eye. I've had a look at his eye. He's fine. Oh, here we go. Oi! Not on stream. You should know better. Ah! <sighs> That's gonna get me in trouble now. Ah! Nico can bite me in the butt. Nico, leave me alone. What has got into you? Right, okay, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, keyboard, game controls in here. So we should, where's the, oi! I mean it, mate. Camera's not going on if you're going to be like that. Right. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. Unfortunately, certain somebody's decided to misbehave. Yeah, he's... Uh, is uh yeah I'm not turning the camera on anymore don't know what's got in, got into him pack it in Nico, leave me alone. Mrs. OSK is going to laugh her socks off when she hears about this. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> SP, you <laughs> dear. Oh, no. Oh. No. Right. Um, right. I need to... Right, let's do this. We need a debounce, right? So... no idea what's up with him right that's not gonna work is it that's not gonna work um it needs to be beforehand doesn't it it before we read the keyboard it needs to be beforehand so be right okay k 
Can I do an LDX comma Y and a store edit LDX comma Y? Soon he'll be asking for a hot tub. <laughs> Mrs. OSK is going to have a field day when she finds out. She's going to want to. She's going to. She's going to want to watch the stream just to laugh her socks off. Right, LDX comma Y. Is there an LDX comma Y? Yes, there is. Right. We're not using X, so we can do LDX that. Whoops. Packing in. Or you're going into the naughty room. You understand me? Now, store X. Oh, you can't store X comma Y, can you? Rats. Uh, what am I going to do now? Oh, we'll do this. We'll do this. I should do it. So we load what we've got, what we had last time. We store it in the debounce, and then we we uh, wipe out what was there before. Right, that should do it. Right. Oh. Oi. He's growling at you, mate. It'll be your own fault if he goes for you. He's not listening. Right. So let's do this. Just bear me a second, guys. Do you want to go into the naughty room? Hmm? Do you want to go into the naughty room? Hmm? Then leave him alone. Alright? Alright? Are we talking on the same page now? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Right. Right, back to what we was doing. So we're loading the debounce. If it's if it's equal to zero no, right, so if it's not equal, then we don't want it to we don't want it to uh, because that means we've debounced it. Load the what was there before. If it's the same thing, so it's not equal, then we come out. If it's equal to zero, then we then test for. Right. Let's see if that will work. Let's see if that works.
It's doing it, but I'm just it's just too fast. It's just too fast. It's doing the debounce now, but it's still just too fast. Um What can I do here? Um, test it for the frame, I suppose. I can test for the frame. It's just too quick. There you go. I have to really just tap yeah it's just too quick if I um, right let's keep my finger on the keep my finger on the peak see look yeah it's just running straight through um, so I need to do the same hang on I need to do the same where we've got the pause right uh, logic Where's the pause? There. Check for unpause key in controls. Here. This is what we need to do. Right, that. There we go, got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Right, we've got it work, got it to do it now. So I'm just tapping the cake, I'm just tapping the PT. That's better. That's better. Right. So, we want Nico, we want Nico to sit. We want Nico to sit when it's on and then start running. Start running when we when we're done. So let's do this. So, pause Where's the pause? Back up here. No, it's in controls, isn't it? Pause. Here. So we set the game flat flow. Uh, yeah, we can put it in there. So that sets into lie down. Right, F6. P. Right, it's lying down. Right now we need to get him to uh, now we need to get him to restart up once once we're done, which is in here. So game paused. Put the running state right. We need to uh, re we need to redo it. Where's where's the initialization? Here we go. So we need to get him back running again. But, but there's a caveat to that. There's a caveat to that. Um, if we get him to start running again, um, so we need to load. Uh, branch if minus. to um, um, oops
Right, branch of minus. So let's grab that and put that there. So if he's not invincibility mode, he's just in normal running mode. But then, if he's in invincibility mode, he's going to be... Uh, Nico Cone running. So we're going to see if it, it we're going to see if it starts up, yeah. Problem is we haven't coded we haven't coded the invisibility invincibility stuff in yet. Um So, I need to put there Right. So it loads Nico run and then doesn't do that, or it goes here and then does that and then stores it in the animation base. Right. So, uh, uh, invincibility mode. Invincibility mode. We need to check. So the power up. Oh, we need to. I'll, 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 uh, I'll sort that out in a minute. Right. Compare with flight mode. Bypass power up, which is here. So that's him jumping. Right. Here, the collision detection. Right. How am I going to do that? Ooh. That's a good one. Can I do this? Oh, it's in Nico, isn't it? Where's Nico logic? Can I do that? I should be able to do that, yeah? That is going to, that's going to say that it's, it's on. That's going to say it's on, isn't it? So we're going to have to do the same. We're going to have to compare it to say, are we, are we activated? Are we activated in uh, invincibility mode? If we are equal to zero, Oh no, branch if not equal, because we're now comparing it. By pass or Oh no 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 branch if equal that's it by pass for invincibility So it comes here. So we load the power up. We end it with our invincibility check and that it's on. We compare it to make because we don't because when we do an and it means that if the power up's on it'll still be compare it. If it's equal, that means we're in invincibility mode. So we don't we don't do this check. We don't do this we don't do this. Uh, that's in the wrong place. That's 
That's in the wrong place. It needs to be in here. So we check if it's rust and da 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 da. Right. We reset it. If the power up is on, we're not even going to bother. We're not even going to bother with the power up. Is that in the right place? That's still not in the right place, is it? That's still not in the right place. It needs to be there. But. But, 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 let's put that back. What we can do is, we can do that. So we've checked the the collision, we stored it. So we load the power up. If the if the invincibility's on, we reset our flags. Then it doesn't matter what happens here. That should do it. That should that should do it. Now he's going to be permanently in invincible. So once it hits, boom. All right. So then we press P again to pause. He's now permanently invincible with the cone. With the cone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> permanently invincible. Get in there. Now we need to put the timer in. We need to put the timer in so it'll switch off. <laughs> Ship it. <laughs> right, so we need to put the timer in to... Uh... Right, this is... Uh, right, um, so where should we put the timer? Should we put it in here? Yeah, let's put the timer in there. So we put the timer clock in there. Uh, so we'll do the same as what we've done with Nico jumping. Um, so what I would suggest is that we, in the Nico code, we'll put um, a timer aspect to this. Um, <laughs> oh guys I mean this this is this is just a bit of fun but it, I, I'm I'm I think we're gonna I think we're gonna end up with a pretty cool game to be honest right um I need to find where the ah here we are here we are so that's what we need to do um Yeah, that's what we need to do. 
So, uh, let's, um, should I do it as a routine? Yeah, let's do a routine. Um, Right, <clears throat> what we need to do here is we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. Where's the output? Where did I put the output? Oh, that's in controls, isn't it? Let's grab this. Put that in there. So if the timer has run out, Then we set the carry and we'll RTS. If the timer hasn't run out, we'll CSC and RTS. Right. So if we go back to where Nico's jumping and the timer here. So if we do JSR that we can then we can then say um, so if we so if it's positive we want it to exit so that's clear so branch you've carried clear to exit if not we want it to do all that Right. So now, in the, in the, in the, in the invincible mode. <laughs> I've just caught out deluxe edition with three D printed Nico and a detachable cone. <laughs> oh no, that would be cool. That <laughs> that would be cool. Right. Let's put this where we've got the test here. There. So we decrease the pack. We decrease. That's Nico. Decrease the power up. But we want to. Uh, we we need to return Nico back to his original state. Need to turn Nico back to his original state. So that's going to be that. <laughs> Part two, Aston's revenge. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> right, let's do this. Right, so we need to get Nico back. So if it's We need to get him back to what he was. So if he's in, in invincibility mode, so we need to get him back to how he was, which is this. Okay. So we turn the power off. We turn the power up off. And then we turn his animation base back to normal. <laughs> right, so uh, let's just make sure this works. So um, we do the flags, we decrease the timer. If the timer's still active, then we bypass and we go into this. Oh no no oh yeah that's right that's right if the if the counters expired we turn off the power up put Nico back into running mode right let's try that so here we go so we're going to we're going he's going to hit a tree he's going to pause 
There we go. We're going to restart and he's away with the cone. Now, let's see if the cone disappears when the timer runs out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did. Right. Okay. So um, we need to make the timer a bit slower for. We need to. We need to make the timer shorter for. Um, for the record, because I think that was a little bit too long. But it's only. It's only for that. But the problem is. It's unique, isn't it? Because it's not going to be a full-blown in... Do you think that was too long? Do you think that was too long? Or should it be shorter for the... the When he hits something? It was too long, right. Activate invincibility. Right, so... In this particular instance, we need to reduce the... We need to reduce down. We need to reduce down that. So make that zero and we'll make it half. The important thing is it works. Right, let's see if that heart, let's see if that Oh my God, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. What was that? Dr. Dr. Pav. I think I know who you are. Thank you very much for the thousand bits, mate. It's much appreciated. Very much appreciated. And welcome to the stream as well, mate. Welcome to the stream. Right, okay, so. Yes, this is a long time no see. I think I know who you are. Right. Uh, right, here we go. So, I've I've effectively half the time. So, we're going to activate him. Whoops, nope, I'm in the wrong window. Going to activate him. So, now it's half the time. That it's done it. Oh yes, half the time. That works. That works. So let's do it again. Yeah, that works. That's long enough, I think. Yeah. That's long enough. So Nico's in... in <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that the cone just disappears and away we go! <laughs> oh dear, this, this is going to be so much fun. Right, so... Right, let's, let's play it properly now. Let's see if I can play it properly. So here we go. <laughs> I can't play it properly. Come on, jump, Nico, jump. Oh, you're joking. It's not doing the cone, is it? Oh, it's not doing the cone in the jumps. Right, because we need to put the cone... We need to put the cone um, in the jumps. Come on. Oh, that's when we run out of lives because we haven't coded that. Right, so we need to put the cone in the jumps. Uh, Nico, Nico jump. Where's Nico jump? So we need to change. Um, we need to change because he's in. He's in. Um, we have got a cone jump. Yeah, we have. 
So that's flight, jumping, here we go. So, uh, where are we, where are we? Um, that's animating Nico. Oh, that's adding, that's adding in flight. Now, does does he have a oh? Does he have a cone while flying? Oh yes, he does. Here, he has a cone while flying. He has a cone while flying as well. Okay, let's see if we can work this out. Let's see if we can work this out. Right, so if he's in invincibility mode, then it, we can add eight. We can add eight to the base address and then subtract eight. If he's in invincibility mode. But the jumping's different, isn't it? Because we fix it. We fix it. Um, I wonder if we can do it cleverly in here. Where we take the base, we take the base address. I mean, we do it for flying, look. We do it for flying. I wonder if we could do it for. We should be able to do it. We should be able to do it. Right, let's just make sure this is right. Okay, so when he's running, when he's running, then the code cone is plus eight. All right, so this is the cone animation here. When he's jumping, it's plus eight. When he's lying down, it's plus eight. When he's flying, it's plus eight. We we can do this. We can do this here. Right? So what we can do is um Right, gonna have to be a bit cl clever with this. So we'll push the accumulator because we're gonna need that. So we'll load, we'll load, we'll load, load, load. Um, invincibility mode. Storage dot power up. Yeah. We will end it with that. We will compare it with that. And if it's not equal to, then we will uh, bypass invinci invincibility adjust. So we bypass the invincibility adjustment. Right. 
so we'll pull it back. Clear the carry. Add eight. And then add the storage base. But the problem is we're going to have to do a PLA here. So where's my favorite instruction? Where's my favorite instruction? 24. Can we not store it in X? I suppose so. I suppose so. Um, it still has the same problem here though. But yeah, let's do that. Uh, are we using X? Let's just check. Are we using X? Nope. Right, so we transfer A into X. We'll load A. Then we'll transfer X back into A. We do the thing and then here, transfer X in A. But this is the bit command. That's the bit, but it's zero page. So it only does one byte. So it'll, that'll eliminate that byte, yeah? If it goes through here. So we'll add eight, then we'll add the animation base. This means, this means we don't have to set Nico to be in cone mode when we do the activate invincibility. That that yeah we don't need to do that now we don't need to do we don't need to do that here this is the game paused we don't need to do that here we can we can eliminate this now because we've now got the animation working out whether he's invincible or not. Ooh, ooh, could we have just done a big, big, right, let's try it. Yeah, the push saves some cycles, yeah. Right, so immediately he's lying down and he's now got his cone on because we're now in invincibility mode. So if I press P, oh, where's that ramp? There we go. I need, no, I don't need to test for that. I just need to have that back and store it in there. Right, let's try that again. Almost, yeah, almost, almost. Come on, come on, Nico, hit the tree, right. All right, so he's barking at the tree. We resume the game, he should be in. There we go, invincibility mode, comes off, and we're, there we go, we've done it again. Oh, I can't believe it was that simple. Right, we will jump. Oh, and he's got his cone on. <laughs> Love it. He's got his cone on while he's jumping. Oh. Right, loving it.
Absolutely loving it. <laughs> Absolutely right. Let's do it. Do this properly. Oh, I've got it on mega hard as well, haven't I? So win invincibility is gone. Is now gone. Oh. Oh, cool, you got a pixel perfect, haven't you? Come on, boy, you can do it. No! <laughs> oh, ooh. Right, I, th I think that's a great place to stop. I think that's a great place to stop. So, so just to recap, we've got the collision detection de in place. Thanks for Derek for suggesting that. We have now implemented the. Um, we've now implemented the invisibility mode, and he's got the corresponding animation as well. And. And we've got the lives, right? We've got the lives, but we still need to work everything. And uh, we've got the the lives and stuff. So on Wednesday stream, we'll start we'll start looking at the hood. Yeah, we'll start looking at the hood. We'll start putting um, the lives on there. We'll start putting the uh, power up timer on it. We'll we'll put we'll start thinking about his health. And how his health's going to work. Because I think we need to make him go backwards towards the edge of the screen. Where I'm going to be there chasing him, yeah? Um, and then when, he's, when he gets more health, he'll move forward, yeah? Alright. So... Thank you for <laughs> having a meager argument here. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I can't believe I had 26 people viewing me, according to Twitch. I can't believe. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching me. And I w will... On Wednesday, like I say, we're going to look, start looking at the hood, and then try and uh, get all get some of that st sorted out. And uh, but it's been uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me. I am going to stick this into my GitHub. I think I think it's way on now. Nico two super. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Thank you very much, guys. See you on Wednesday. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.